Leo. Leo, come here. Obviously, I can't go running yet until I've petted next door's cat. Paddy on. He's a big fat cat. Lazy ducks hard at it this morning. Um, hill running today. Well, sort of a hill run. Going up Prior Park Road. Or Prior Park Hill. Which is that way, just walking towards it at the moment. It's going to be a nice little uphill. It's good to mix up the training. Land Rover. If I look a bit tired and disheveled today, it's because I am. I was up at two, between two and four this morning. So I've got tons of lighters to see. Ah, that's not very nice. The rest of me is ready, willing, and able. Just I feel a bit tired. Uh, I've got extra water. Keep me going up the hill. A uh, little walk to the hill now, and then a small five minute warm up, jog as usual, and then some more intervals, I think, as you run up the hill. So I'll probably see you on a route. Currently on the warm up, I'm running up Ralph Allen Drive now. It's kind of steep, not too bad. There's Pride Park Gardens next to us, sort of down there. So if you can see through the hedge. Think about parallel with the Palladian Bridge. It's a nice big stone bridge. And the gardens are commissioned by Ralph Allen. He's a bit of an entrepreneur around these parts. Built lots of bits of bath and had stone quarries underneath the hills up here. Lots of stone used around the city, including the bridge down there and Prior Park, Prior Park College. And these wonderful gardens, which were designed by a poet called Alexander Pope and built by the famous, uh, famous, remember, Capability Brown. Some nice landscape gardens down there. Oh, no time to see those today. I'm gonna start my sprint in a second. Whew. I've got Coombe down now. This place is riddled with mine workings. And lots of miners cottages around here. And beneath our feet, is a giant tunnel, an old railway tunnel, which sus trains are opening up. It's part of their two tunnel cycleway. And I went through it the other week. It was quite nice. I'm going to just give you a shortcut from Lincoln down that way through to the other side near Midford. I'm now walking and then running towards my old house. It's called Stourton View in Claverton Down. You get a nice view to the Westbury White Horse. Oh dear, I better run Next now. Next interval. She'll tell me off if I don't. Minutes fast. Oh, what a great noise these beech nuts make! <laughs> Just passing Ralph Allen School. Just going past University of Bath Sutler's Club and some of their training fields. I can't see the white horse today. Let's go that way. Next interval. One minute. This is the first runner I've seen today. Seems to be going on the Next other side of the road interval. though. Two minutes. She must know I haven't Fast. had a shower yet. I am going to go that way, but first, let's go and have a look at my old house. Wow, that's changed a lot. That's my old house. I used to live in, I used to have that bedroom there many years ago. That's new. It's quite nice. Anyway, enough sightseeing. Back this way. That's 
my favourite tree, I think. One of my favourite trees in Bath. I used to live over there. You see it in all the seasons. It's going to be yellow now. And I'm just going to go through the farm. And should be on Whitcomb Hill for my cool down. Not going too bad today. A bit puffed. Still happy. Oh, no, the nice thing about Bath, again, it's nice country fields, sheeps. Well, you have to keep on your toes going around this bit of the Kawaskas. Slip up into the barbed wire. That's my run down. Now, gentle walk. Oh, cheers. That's nice, we got Leo to welcome me back after my run. Hello, Leo. Oh, there's a water bottle. Don't think he likes the smell of sweaty water bottles. Oh, yeah. Oh, you big fat cat. <laughs> 